Welcome to another episode of Monster Info. This edition is on the Lizard Man of Scrape or Swamp from South Carolina, USA. The Lizard Man is generally described as being seven foot tall, bipedal, and bulky, covered in dark hair with scaly lizard like skin on its hands, feet, and face. It is said to have three toes on each foot and three fingers on each hand. The creature has incredible degree of strength, more than capable of ripping into a car. A few witnesses have reported seeing it, although in majority of cases, a tail was not seen. The first modern reported sighting of the creature was made by George Holloman Jr. in the fall of 1987, but it was reported by Christopher Davis, a 17-year-old local man that made the lizard man famous. Davis said he encountered the creature while driving home from work at 2 a.m. on June 29, 1988. According to his account, Davis stopped on a road bordering Scrapemore Swamp in order to change a tire which had blown out. When he was finishing up, he reported having heard a thumping noise from behind him and having turned around to see the creature running towards him. Davis said the creature tried to grab at the car and then jumped on its roof as it tried to escape, clinging to it as Davis swerved from side to side in an effort to throw it off as he drove away. After he returned home, Davis' side view mirror was found to be badly damaged and scratch marks were found on the car's roof, though there was no other physical evidence of his encounter. He said, I looked back and saw something running across the field towards me. It was about 25 yards away and I saw red eyes glowing. I ran into the car as I locked it and the things grabbed the door handle. I could see him from the neck down. The three big fingers, long black nails and green rough skin. It was strong and angry. They looked in my mirror and saw a blur of green running. I could see his toes and then he jumped onto the roof of my car. I thought I heard a grunt and then I could see his fingers through the front windshield where they curled around the roof. I sped up and swerved to shake the creature off. In the month that followed the Davis sighting, there were several further reports of a large lizard-like creature and of unusual scratches and bite marks found on cars parked close to the swamp. Most of these creatures are said to have occurred within a three-mile radius of the swamp of Bishopville. And at the time, the local law enforcement officials reacted to the reports of the Lizard Man with some mixture of concern and skepticism, stating that sufficient numbers of sightings had been made by apparently reputable people for them to believe that something tangible was being seen, but also that it was more likely to be a bear than a Lizard Man. Two weeks after the Davis sighting, the Sheriff's Department made several plaster casts of what appeared to be three-toed footprints, measuring some 14 inches in length, but decided against sending them on to the FBI for further analysis after biologists advised them that they were unclassifiable. According to the South Carolina Marine Resources Department spokesperson Johnny Evans, the tracks neither matched nor could be mistaken for the footprints of any recorded animal. Evans also dismissed the possibility that they could have been made by some form of mutated creature. The sightings attracted tourists interested in seeing the creature and hunters interested in tracking it. A nearby radio station, WCOS, offered a $1 million reward to anyone who could capture the creature alive. However, reports of the creature began to decline at the end of the summer, with the last credible sighting of the year being reported in July. On August 5th, Kenneth Orr, an airman stationed at Shaw Air Force Base, filled a report with the police saying that he had encountered the lizard man on highway 15 and he had had shot and wounded it 
He presented several scales and a small quantity of blood as evidence. Orr later recanted his account two days later, and he was arraigned for unlawfully carrying a pistol and the misdemeanor offense of filing a false police report. According to Orr, he had invented the sighting in order to keep the stories about the lizard man in circulation. Be sure to join us for Bigfoot Entertainment Weekly on Monday nights at 9 p.m. Pacific and the Squatcher's Lounge Podcast Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Pacific. More episodes of Bigfoot Campfire Stories are on the way. Thanks for watching Monster Info Season 1, Episode 3. I'm Reverend Jeff, and may the Squatch be with you. <laughs>